Oh, hello, it's Fabienne Fredrickson from boldheart.com and Bold Heart Business. And today we're going to talk about love. You might be saying, but we're talking about business, aren't we? You know, exponentially growing our businesses. Yes, we're going to talk about love today. But I'm going to start with the idea that perhaps you're wondering why you're not signing enough big deals. Why you are not... Uh, uh, signing up enough clients or filling your groups fast enough. This is one of the biggest questions that we get in Bold Heart Business is how can I get more people to say yes? And my answer is often, well, you're either not doing enough marketing or you're not closing the sale enough. And the closing the sale enough piece is directly tied into uh, the whole idea of following up. And many people, you're perhaps like me, uh, you know, you, you, you meet new people and people express interest in working with you and, and you do a talk or you go networking or you're having coffee with a strategic alliance or a center of influence and they mention somebody, but, you know, just, you know, interested in working with you, but, but you're not following up. And you might wonder, you know, why, why is that happening? Why am I not following up if I know that if I followed up, that person might become a client or might join one of my groups? And I will tell you why you're not following up. Because following up is icky and yucky. <laughs> if you think about it, the words following up. Think about yourself calling a prospect and saying, Hi, I'm following up to see if you'd like to work with me. On a scale of 1 to 10, and you've got to be honest with yourself here, 10 being, I love doing this, and 1 being, oh, I, I just can't. I feel like I'm being so naggy and pushy. Where are you on that scale of 1 to 10 when you're following up with someone? How does it feel for you? If you're anything like me, it's probably like a one or a two. You don't want to feel pushy. You, I had one client years and years ago say, I don't want to feel like a gnat in somebody's life, like just constantly following up. What I realized is nobody likes to follow up because nobody likes to be followed up on. Have you ever gotten somebody to send you an email or call you and say, Hi, uh, it's so-and-so from blah, blah, blah company. I'm just following up on the proposal I sent you. It never feels right. And this is where the love piece comes in. Many, many years ago, probably like 15 years ago, I changed my following up results by no longer following up. And I would like to share this secret with you today so that you can use it in your own business. It's just one of the many, many hundreds of things that we do to help you grow your business from where it is now to its next big level, making twice as much working half the time. It's the idea of changing the words. It's a semantics thing, but in the semantics, you're also changing the energy. In changing the energy, you're changing the behavior. In changing the behavior, you're changing the action. So what is the semantics, this word change that I'm talking about? I want you to never use the words following up ever again for the rest of your career. Just, just like, just cross them out. The words you're going to replace following up with is just checking in. Just checking in is something you would use with a friend. Let's say a friend is feeling sick or having a difficult time in their, their family life or you know their health or something like that. You wouldn't call them and say, I'm just following up on your health. No, you would follow up and just say, hi, I'm just checking in. How are you? What's going on? I just, I, I care. So I just want to, you know, it's just like, it's all imbued with love where following up feels like you're, you're either hunting or, or, or the prey, right? But you don't feel that way when somebody says, hey, how are you? I haven't talked to you in a while. I'm just checking in to see how you are. I'm just checking in how to see how you are on your process and your progress. And that is what changed everything for me. So whereby I used to have a list called the low-hanging fruit list, which also sounds kind of <laughs> uh, hunty, uh, I now call it the love-em-up list. 
And the Love Em Up list, and this is what all of our members of Bold Heart Business use, is a list that you keep going um, in pages and pages. I actually like to have a paper copy of it. I'm a little bit old school that way because if it's in front of me, um, then then it's in front of me and I'll do something about it. But if it's hidden in technology, I don't know. <laughs> don't judge. That's how I do it. Anyway, the Love Em Up list is made up of all the people who have expressed interest in working with you in the last week, month, quarter, year, two years, three years, but have not yet signed up. They may have either said it in passing or you've had a GAC, a get acquainted call with them, but they didn't sign up or um, somebody referred them. But, you know, just all the people who haven't signed up to work with you yet are people who would go on your love them up list. And if you're anything like me and you love love and you you prefer to love someone uh, than to follow up on them, you, you, you can create this list and then just always be checking in with them. Hey, I haven't talked to you in a few weeks. How are you? I'm just checking in with you. See where you are in your process and how can I best be of support? And you see the energy that's different in this as opposed to the whole following up thing, right? It changes everything. So if you wonder why you're not signing up enough clients or filling your programs more, there's this whole energy piece about it, right? Everything I do in business goes through the filter of, is it authentic? Is it integrous? Is it loving? And just checking in with love feels that way for me, which means that you do more following up, right? Do you, you, because you like it, you do it more often. Because you do it more often, people close you know, themselves into working with you more often, which means you fill your programs or your practice and you make more money. So, so that's my loving assignment for you for this week is to change your semantics on how you do business. And in this case, no longer use the words following up and change them, replace them with just checking in. That should help. Sending you lots of love. Mwah. Talk to you next time. Bye.